there. He will just let out a move and immediately putting on a defensive option, expecting you to hit that first button. The down tilt, great opportunity to go for a tech chase, and he nearly goes for the side B, able to take care of Sue and come back on the stage to survive coming maze onslaught there. Great opportunity. I I like that from Estwich because he's not afraid to go out there and just take care of like go for the tech chase basically because he knows he has no other. I mean that's just yeah. great coverage on attack there. He just understood that, like, you know, even if you tech in place, you tech away, you just do a get up attack, I'm probably just gonna catch you in this. Yeah. Oh man, he just got Charlie Murphy. No, you gotta catch these hands real quick. Yeah. Great opportunity for Nico. He actually understood. You know what's gonna go for the landing guns? Oh, oh. not quite gonna be online. Nico, I think, was holding down in that case, actually saving him. Yeah. Good air slash gets Sue off the stage, and I do like the fact they're looking for the double team against Kamame. They seem to have found the player with the highest percent, and that's obviously Kamame. Yeah, I don't even think just that. The fact that Warriors are so big and heavy, you can go ahead and get a lot of extended strength. Mm -hmm. Good job for Nico to understand and go for another forward air against the ledge. Kame hasn't been able to punish that or just adjust himself a little bit to it. So because he has the bullets leading into that neutral air, yeah, he goes right back off stage, but he was in the jump Monado, able to recover back. I swear he's looking to change things up. I like it. Goes after Kame. Ooh, there goes the down smash catching Nico landing. Seems to be that's where Sue's catching Nico a lot is in the landing. Oh, and yeah, the Rebels guard up in play just in case. What a Using it at the very last second, getting away from that forward smash attempt. And here we have oh, Kamame sitting at 173. That's which either needs a grab here or just needs to go ahead and frustrate Kamame like the last time. Ega though launches him up. He's going to get the reset and Kamame with a great dash dance to a dash dash. Oh, bullets down. Yep. Nico's still not able to capitalize against Sue, but he almost gets it down there. But SOH will take care of Kalame in the play. So well. It looks like he was going to lose it to that air slot. Stopping Nico in the forward smash is going to do it. Now at a 2v1, SOH fighting for gear life. He's doing a good job of just keeping Kalame off stage, though, because he knows if I, the, if I get back on stage, I might just get slapped on this. Okay, triple up airs. I like it. Trying to lead in with the grapple. He finally does. Bullets are such a fantastic move against those that do yeah. not have a recovery with a hitbox or invincibility on it. And there we have the upper leading into the walk to seal out game one. Sue and Kamame. They were doing a really good job, especially s capitalizing off of Kamame a lot. He knows that um, for Wario, he has great aerial drift. He does a lot of retreating options, so he's not afraid to go after it. The one thing that I did like from SH also is he understood how Sue was going to play, so I felt that at times he needed to go for a couple more opponent switches. Nico was really good at trying to understand, like, okay, he's going to go for a down and up smash, so I know to make the up B out of shield play. I know how to make the right here. And he had great opportunities to come back from the stage against Kamame. He wasn't so used to forward air from the ledge. Honestly, really, the key thing was the fact that, you know, Sue can just edge guard so well yeah. with Joker. The bullets are actually the biggest difference maker in this set so far. That is true. Both S2H and Nico immediately getting caught by those down bullets, unable to recover as they are, getting interrupted, having to go high. And either Kamame or Sue have been there to punish with one of their forward smash or even just a heavy hit to either knock them right back out or yeah. hit them far enough to where they can't recover afterwards. All right, now Nico moving on to the 2v1 against Kamame. Oh my god, the bullet's leading into the back here, excuse me! That was you. I'm telling you, man. This is, this is a joke clean. of a different breed. Bullets again, stopping S2H clean. The guns hurt, bro. Guns hurt. Oh, <laughs> guns hurt. oh. <laughs> I, Well, the funniest thing is that, like, in, in the game, it's just a toy gun. It, it's a model gun. Yeah, it is a model gun. <laughs> it's just when, when you go into the palace, it's a different story. This feels like a palace because it hurts like a real gun. Yo, where's the shadow? <laughs> Yeah, shadows. I, I, I mean, I, I, Sue, Sue gonna see his own right now. Yeah. Go to the blast zone right quick. S2H looking to just capitalize off Kamei. He's kind of been through some love from what we saw the last few times, where he's been losing the stocks really early. He's kind of switched to now Nico side, and, and immediately Sue capitalizing off the offstage play there with his back end. Nice lining there. Looking to just focus on Sue. Now by the character switch here, and looking for s to capitalize. I do like how they force these 2v1 scenarios. Get him off the stage, make the 2v1 play, get the damage, get the percent, get the combos. Good opportunity for Switch to understand grab armor there and nearly go for the throw the minute that he sees Kamame ready for an opportunity. Don't give him that chance. Yeah, trying to choose who he wants to go after Nico. Stuck here again, the bolts leading into the back air. That's that's true. That, yeah. That's actually a thing now. 
That's the first time I have seen it myself, but good damage and coverage you have with Joker. Back here gonna lead in for Hamame. Bring up that stock off of Nico. And with that Nico just running up to his teammate trying to help him out. He has to be careful, yeah. He wanted to get that last the startup hit initially upside beat to uh, literally just cheese out too, but unfortunately like he only had to get, he had to go for it right now. At the same time, he was trying to kill the meter yeah. that Sue had with Arsene. Uh, came out a little bit too long in the wild at Boris when I was catching that getup. Yeah. The one thing about meter 2 with Arsene activated, Pummel's also will knock out the meter as well. So if you do manage to get a grab, Pummel away as much as possible. Down there again. But Nico stuck here at this ledge, able to shield that forward tilt, S2H, to and off stage. Yeah, he wanted that capitalization off the back air, but immediately wasn't able to get it. The suit just dipped a little lower. At this point, they desperately need to eliminate Sue's stock because the red team around here is not looking that fantastic good to me now. Yeah, but Arsene is out one more time. One more time for S2H. are going to be online. Forward tilt. Almost two for, almost two for the price of one. And unfortunately, Nico extended his jump Ooh, and getting the go. dunk too. I like that. Uh, Sue immediately just recognizing that his teammate was coming. Yeah, he gets off immediately. And we have us two stuck here in a two to one situation now. And you said you play Final Fantasy XIV, mm -hmm. and I sometimes view Wario's WAP as a Doom counter. You have literally it is a Doom counter. I, I want, hey, I want, hold up! Uh, you, you can't get topped off though. That's the yeah, thing. <laughs> yeah, and, and you can, dude. At this point, it is a Doom counter, and if and if SWH is not cautious about the, the percent and the timing that he's gonna get that duel on himself. I mean, shoot! Right now, Sue's looking like the Thunder God. Like he's making yeah, sure you hey, ain't going hey, nowhere. <laughs> for sure, dude. For sure. All right, that's the back. Oh, oh, that is the back <laughs> Oh no, that was a back or a forward or, or whatever. Something, it doesn't matter. He's able to get that stuck. Something killed him. Something killed him. It doesn't matter. That'll bring it up 2 0 against Team Astro H and Nico. Whew. Look, I'm either predicting. I think they're going to stay, but I would like a switch. Who do you go? Who do you go? Honestly. Would, you know, you know Astro H's not switching. Yeah, he's not switching. He's not. And then the only thing that Nico has afterwards is Joker. Joker. I don't because I doubt you'd want to go Richter in this. Put put a Joker against Joker. Joker yeah. against Joker? Well, hey, why not? You're I, like, you're I, like, I, I would look, I would like to see that work with Meta Knight, but as much as I would like to see that work, that's not what we're seeing here. Right? But yo, we're just gonna hop into game three now, sticking here in Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah. I mean PS2 was a high selling console, man. So high 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 pick rate uh case. That was the console. It was. That and Xbox 360. I need a DVD. Ba back I when you actually wanted an Xbox. Back then, bro, you need a DVD player and a game console, man. Sony had you unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> DVD consoles were, DVDs were like, no, what was the DVD players were expensive at the time, too. No, I'm, I'm a VHS, bro. I, I, still, I still got the Lion King on VHS, no lot. I got Mulan on VHS. Hey. That's <laughs> good. Okay, I thought Kamame was going to jump up immediately, try to go for a back air. Not quite going to extend that much. Just wants to get back onto that stage. And here we have it looking for an F tilt. Not quite going to get it either. He ends up grabbing the bike one more time as well. And there we I like that. They, the red team ends up switching opponents. Yeah. Uh, they understand that F2H has a better opportunity to try to edge guard Joker. He has been. He proved that out in game one so far. He did really well against you. Game tech chase. But unfortunately, Joker's really good at whip punishing. And if you're just trying to swing the sword when he's got his side team, you got to watch oh yourself. Goodness. So many hitboxes coming out from the red team, trying to cover Sue. And they finally do, making him wait a little bit too long. And Sue unable to make it back off that grappling hook. Yeah. Right, Forward throw, oh, mm -hmm. leading into that up there. Falling neutral, or leading into the back dash attack as well, excuse me. Uh, and SOH didn't attack there, so get him by the forward smash. I like it, going for the back guys, put him off the stage. SOH looking for that landing on the, the ledge. Oh, there goes the spot dogs, both of them just training spot dogs. Oh, no. But Nico not looking behind him, gonna get caught by the slap one more time. I like to call that slap the rip game. It's for games, bro. It, it really is for games. Yeah. I understand. That's up you out of shield, though. That's what I was saying. I try to catch uh, coming oh, no. in. I, I'm a fan of calling it the Acorn. <laughs> Damn, stop, 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 stop. Wait, you trying to smack that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Rick James was Oh my about. goodness. All right, the forward smash leading into both members of the blue team, but only Kamame losing his stock. Up throw. I, got, I mentioned how it's a Doom counter. He's got the Doom on the lock. He just pulls up the right opportunity. There's only seconds away from seeing that wall off a confirmed. 
Sorry, the Dimensional Cave coming in for S2H. Able to get that stuff. Catching Sue sleeping just a little bit there. Oh, good. Good opportunity on the landing, but unfortunately only gets S2H on the landing. Nice down throw. They have to watch out for Kamame. He's got the wasp. One misplay. One confirmed. We'll see nothing but the stock fly out. Oh, Nico came in at the right time. That neutral air was Crap. setting up to be something disgusting. All right, SMH goes for the offense play, and I like it. But unfortunately, Sue has been so on point with going for the startup invincibility on the upbeat. He's really, at that point, you know, you have to cover what you can against Joker. Like we've talked about time and time again already. You can mix up this covering so well, especially with the wings of Rebellion having an ability on the startup. Yeah. Which he should be looking at Sue here. They do have to come in at TV1. He's been really good at keeping him off stage and not allowing Nico to focus on Kamame. He's going for the opportunity at the ledge. There goes the fourth the throw, fourth throw. Getting that stock. And now Nico seeing it 132%. Having to put on the shield Monado. Oh, oh it ran no. out! Yeah, that's what hurts so bad, too, because we even saw the skin from Roy and he still gets the forward tilt. Well, what would also help out is that Blue Team had the awareness to immediately start doing the pummels as well. Soon knew yeah. that when you have Shulk in the Shield Monado, if you hit him just a little bit, the meter starts going down, and that does yeah. count with pummels. It's kind of, it's it's the same with the Arsene meter. Yeah, ex exactly. And the thing about Shield Monado art is the longest quarter. It has about 18 seconds of quarter. All arts! Oh, oh trying to go for the counter, not quite going to get it. But the forward tilt, stab him real quick. All right, so it's kept on the lining, man. I mean, yeah. He's yep. holding on to just literally the littlest chance they have in the winter side of the back here. I just falling out of the back air. So unfortunate. But I do like the fact that the back air, and I like it comes is off being the point. Just because he saw Arsene online, but now they're going to be switching roles. Especially with Sue sitting at 0% now. Oh, uh, he wanted to go for that up B. And that would have been such a risk against Sue. Back throw? Yeah. yeah that was too much. Too high, though, yeah, yeah, a little bit too high. And Switch knows he's only got one player to worry about here. But unfortunately, when you get grabbed like that, and like you said, the pummels help, Kamame will come in for the finish. There we have it a 3 0 for Kamame and Sue, the Joker, looking clean as ever. Yeah. Team Runaway, I would say. Team Runaway. Both of them thieves in their own <laughs> right. They out. I mean, one of them gets gold, the other gets treasure. Yeah, exactly. Both treasures, mm -hmm. if you think about it in general. Hey, it depends what you got in your cognitive state. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that was more dubs here. Nico mm -hmm. and I mean, that was, that was the end of the pool. So uh, I'm curious, my, my guys, are we are we going into the, the next phase or like? Shout out to our stream runner because I see this guy putting in work. He, he has the fresh Kirby shirt. Like, he does. I love he does. That. He does. He does. Well, what's my other man's wearing? He got the Sony. I like it. Yeah. With, yeah, with the Arc it's, System it's hat. E it's E3 weekend, mm -hmm. dude. It's E3 weekend. Oh, you got to be rocking out. I mean, yeah. here, oh, look, I'm here for the mango. I got USA on. See, you're the only one dressed on point. I'm yeah, no, no one else wanted to go with the I'm, theme. I'm pro I'm, see, I'm a part of the problem. I'm so accustomed to business casual that everyone's just like, bro, business casual. Look, I, I got this jersey for today. I got a Hawaiian shirt for tomorrow. It's purple and got beer on it. That's great. I'm ready. That is, that is a great I'm shirt. I'm ready. You, you dress Speaking of beer, I need to go get a beer. Yeah, we need Chick fil A took too damn long for me to stop at the bar and get on the mic. Yeah, that's where I was wanting my chicken biscuit. I waited there for 10 damn minutes. And they gave me one sauce packet. That's, that's where it hurts, man. That's where, that's where that's they close on Sundays, bro. It's bad. That's where they close on it's Sundays. It's bad. I just want some chicken, man. <laughs> We all want chicken, dude. Everybody wants chicken. Don't, don't make me go to Cane's. <laughs> we'll do it. It's far, I don't care if I got to drive 15 minutes. You guys don't got, you guys got Cane's up in NorCal? No. no. Right? no yes. You no. know what I'm saying? And that's more we worth it. We got Popeye's. It. You guys got Popeye's? That's it's it. good, though. It's good. Pie? I, 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 I like Popeye's. I think Popeye's is crazy. No, no. I love Popeye's. Yeah. I think they have the best fries. I love the Cajun really? fries. Really? Yeah, I love their fries. It's been a minute since them, I ordered them fries. Them and Five Guys Cajun fries are really good. Five Guys Cajun fries are good. Yeah. That's, that's don't fries. ever order a large. You'll never finish it. That's true. I've seen people make the mistake and they cry. You know, soggy fries the next day. It's all bad. No, nah, hold up. You're not even getting those in the next day. You're throwing them away immediately. I don't, I don't know any French fries that are good the next day. You could do the strategy where you just like put them in the oven, a conventional no, oven. No, no, that's so much work. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. No, 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 no. You, you need some type of food that you just put in the microwave and be good again. You fries are fries are never good. No, the they're never going to the be problem. good. But you put in the oven. Do you know how much time that takes? Do you know how much prep work that takes? You got it. Look, you by, the, by the time you, you turn on them. your oven, you pre you preheat that bitch. You 